guys, it's me again, Kaylee, woo, I'm back, I'm alive, yeah. So, as you guys may or may not know, being tall can suck sometimes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love being tall. It also has its advantages. A lot of tall people like to wish that they're short, and a lot of short people like to wish they are tall. But today, I'm going to explain to you and give you examples of being tall because I've experienced them the past couple of weeks at my school and some other places, and I just wanted to share them with you. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. The recent thing that's been happening to me lately is when I'm sitting in class and there's a person behind me, I'm sitting there and they're like, Kaylee, can you move your head? I can't see. At first it was alright, but then it started to get annoying. Can you just move your head over just a little bit? I can't see. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thanks. When short girls get away with anything, such as dress code violation, as in with tall girls, teachers seem to notice everything. Hi, teacher. Oh, hi, darling. It's good to see you. Hold up. Where do you think you're going? Because you're not going to my class. Not in those shorts. That is a dress code violation. Turn around, go to the office. Dress code violation. When you're a tall person, if you try to wear heels, you will definitely, most likely, look five yards taller than Bigfoot. Hi, guys. <laughs> How's the weather up there? But I'm not about to make a video just for downs or disadvantages of being tall because there also are some advantages of being tall and these are some of the reasons why I love being tall. You're able to reach the cookies at the top of the shelf when the short people cannot. <laughs> Can you help me? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> But don't get me wrong, you can just easily as just climb up the shelves to get the the item. <laughs> Yikes! Alright, well that's pretty much all the scenarios I can give you today. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you like the new style I'm going with. And um, I'm trying not to apologize in every video as much or I'm waiting till the end. Because I just apologize every video and I don't think it's necessary because it's just going to keep repeating and there's no use of saying sorry if it's going to keep happening. So I'm just not going to sorry say sorry as much anymore. I will say sorry about the lighting and the quality and stuff which I say in every video which I should probably just put down in the description until I get equipment. But I don't know if I should do an update video because a lot of things are going to be happening. Um, once I get my new equipment I'm going to plan some stuff out to try to make my channel better and have like a reopening of my channel and it's gonna be great it's gonna be a new start fresh thing when I get my computer and camera that is actually works right I'm not saying it's anytime soon maybe in the next couple months as in December as in Christmas I don't know birthday I don't know we'll see what happens but until then I will see you guys next time bye